Thank you. I now recognize Mr. Magaziner for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Chairman. We do have a humanitarian crisis at the border, and the way you deal with a humanitarian crisis is with humanity, not with cruelty, not with political posturing, with humanity. And unfortunately, too many of my colleagues are more focused on impeachment theater than they are on working together in a bipartisan way to solve the problems at the border. There are Republicans on this committee who filed articles of impeachment against the Homeland Security Secretary two years ago when he had only been on the job for a couple of months, and others who bragged to their supporters that impeachment was in the works even before the committee began holding hearings on this topic. I really wish that my colleagues would stop playing political games and work together in a bipartisan way to advance real solutions at the border because there are things that will help that we can come together on if you would just work with us. So look, the vast majority of the migrants coming to our southern border are escaping poverty. They are escaping political persecution. They are seeking a better life for themselves and their children because they see the United States as a beacon of hope. And in many cases, the migrants coming to the border are seeking to come legally. And I cannot stress this enough. In many cases, they want to do the right thing, apply for legal asylum under our laws, and immigrate legally. Unfortunately, many migrants on their journey to the United States face danger from drug cartels, from human smugglers, from gun smugglers. And even when they are able to avoid the cartels and the smugglers, many die on their arduous journey. And when they arrive at the border, oftentimes they face weeks and months of delays and delays and delays and red tape before they can have their legal claims processed. Dying of thirst, dying of starvation, running out of time, they seek to enter the country between ports of entry out of sheer desperation, not because they want to, but because they have no other choice. And of course, it is not just the migrants who are falling victim to the cartels and the traffickers and the gun smugglers, it's American citizens too. So let's talk about solutions. In my conversations with Border Patrol leadership, they were clear that their number one ask of us is a more streamlined system at legal ports of entry so that the migrants who are trying to do the right thing and come here legally aren't driven between ports of entry but have their claims processed in an orderly way at ports of entry I heard Mr. Ballard talk about the bravery of the blue shirts, the, the Customs and Immigration officials, and I, I agree completely. We need more blue shirts. We need more blue shirts who are qualified at the ports of entry, who know how to separate the good guys from the bad guys. And when it comes to Border Patrol, what they are asking us is make it easier for the people trying to do the right thing to go to ports of entry so that we can focus our efforts between ports of entry going after the bad guys going after the smugglers, going after the cartels. We are not gonna fix illegal immigration in this country without fixing legal immigration. And that is part of the solution. I wish my colleagues would work across the aisle on this because there are real bipartisan solutions that will help. And we cannot go back, we must not go back to the cruel tactics of the past. 5,500 children, at least, that we know of, separated from their families under the Trump administration, including 500 under age five. Thousands of parents who risked their lives so that their children could have a better future and will now probably never see their children again because of the despicable grandstanding politicians who wanted to look tough. And now another grandstanding politician, the governor of Texas, has illegally strung miles of razor sharp coils across the banks of the Rio Grande. Children, some as young as five, receiving staples for lacerations. And let's not forget the governor of Florida who sent agents to Texas, not even his own state, to fool people into getting on planes, telling them that they would get help, but never notifying the states that they were being sent to. It was all a charade, political grandstanding. Let's work together on real solutions. Better border security, a more streamlined legal immigration process, humanity, not cruelty. There are real solutions here that we can come together as a country around, 
but the grandstanding has to stop. With that, I yield back. Gentleman yields. I now recognize Mr. Garber.